What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. Make sure you hit the like button. We dropping a lot of content because we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Listen, D'Angelo Russell last night had broke the Laker record. First he, first he broke the record. First he broke Kobe. Tied was second with Kobe for the most threes in Laker history. I think, he had, I think Kobe had 182. He had 183. And then later that night, he hit six threes. He ended up breaking Van Exel, who set the record. That's a, I didn't know. I thought Kobe had the record. He was second. So now D'Lo owns the record. And there's three point happy. He going to obliterate because it's like 12, about 10, about 12 to 13 games left. D'Lo can get another what? 20 to 40 threes. So he's going to hit over 200. That's going to be the, the Laker record. So you got D'Lo breaking the records in L.A. And LeBron has no help. I mean, come on. D'Lo averaging 19 and 6. I think LeBron averaging over 25. AD averaging over 25. And you got Austin Reeves, the fourth option, averaging 15. Let me tell you something. When we know the out, and I'm a, I'm a realist, and I'm an honest truth teller. Stats are inflated back in the, the era of Kobe played. When Kobe won his two championships back to back with Paul Gasol, Paul Gasol averaged 18 points tonight. That was the second leader score. That was the second leader score. And you say, well, it's more offense. All right, but it's third. So, but that's his, that's the second leading score, not his first leading score. If you told me his, if you told me his, uh, Paul Gasol has like 22, 23, and then the second leading score averaging 14, 13. I think the second leading score on teams was Lamar averaging 14, 13. He didn't have a, a 20 point score. LeBron James in Miami. Before the league started getting inflated like this, it was getting inflated in the 2010s, but little flat, like it was still, it was still good. The, the, the pace was still on par with the 20, 28, 29, 2010, 2011. So he had, he had D Wade averaging over 25, plus Chris Bryant averaging 17, 18. Okay, and then you go to Cleveland with Kyrie. That's when the pace started getting up a little bit. Still, st you got Kyrie averaging 25, LeBron averaging 25, Kevin Love averaging 17, 17. 17, 18, okay. Excuse me. That is really inflated because I remember when they had Westbrook, Westbrook averaging 17. As a third leading score, LeBron, I think LeBron averaged 30 that season and 80 was averaging over 20, 24. So that make up for the inflation of from when Kobe era from this. But when you go back and look at what LeBron was doing, he had three score. Like LeBron, third leading score on his team was Kobe's second leading score. Doing his championship runs, let that sink in. How much help you got? Now look at now how the numbers inflate. You got two twenty-five point score, a nineteen point, almost 20, another twenty point score, and D'Lo and a fifteen point score, and 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 who who's your mama averaging what? Who's your mama averaging what? Over 12, 11 points off the bench, and, and then you got to think about the year they had Westbrook again. LeBron averaged thirty, AD averaging over 20, 20, 24. Russell averaging eighteen, and then you had uh Melo off the bench averaging twelve. Monk averaging uh. I think I think Melo having 13 and then Monk was averaging 11 or 12. You had five double digit score, five double digit score, and they couldn't even make the play. In. So it ain't about scoring. That's how I made the point yesterday. I made the point five years ago. We've been standing for five years and Paul Pierce made it on undisputed. Scoring is not an issue for them. The ball flowing and get when you need shots made from other players, get the ball flowing, get rhythms, timely shot. You can't pass the ball to a guy in the corner. Stats look good, but when you're scoring, when you're scoring the buckets, when you're scoring, is your defense is good? If, if, if you're just trading baskets and back for, more, for for different, if you're trading basket for baskets, then with, with more talent than the team, then you're not going to win because your defense is going to suffer. So that's what the Lakers issue been. It's not about scoring. They got plenty of scoring. LeBron got plenty of help. They, they want to always trade their way, they best players. And Stephen A. Smith, bitch ass, talking about Genie Bus and Rob Panika need to take a ride with D-Lo and all the other players and name LeBron, put him in the car and say, you like being in Southern California, don't you, huh? You like this, huh? You want to stay here, huh? Just show up. Look, they showing up. They showing up. D-Lo just broke a, rec a, a lake of record. Nobody talking about it on first take. I don't dispute it. Oh, you think Nick Wright going to bring it up? You think LeBron James, you think Shannon Sharp going to bring it up? No, he's on first take. No, he ain't going to bring it up. He gonna, that, that, that's, like, that's crazy great. You had Kobe Bryant in it, the best Laker ever. Ben X, who had the record. LeBron James, who's a Laker. Uh, who was it? Eddie Jones was there, who can shoot the ball. Glenn Rice, who can shoot the ball. And D'Lo got the record. So don't tell me LeBron don't have no damn help. He got most help in the league. He got a lot of help in his league. He got a lot of help. All right. Besides Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant plays with every, every goddamn body. But anyway, tell me what y'all think. Hit that subscribe button. And James White, too. He got a lot of help, too. A lot of niggas got a lot of help. Not just LeBron, but LeBron needs to make it happen. Hit that subscribe button.